Hello everybody and welcome. Stephen Hawking has died at age 76. He was one of the most brilliant minds of the past 150 years and I once was in the same room as him. My father was at Cambridge in 1980 and my mother and baby me visited him. According to my parents, we once ate in the dining hall and he sat a few tables across the room. Of course I can't remember that, but it is an odd feeling to know you once shared the same space as a legend. Hawking was born on January 8, 1942 in Oxford. He started his university education in October 1959 at age 17 and was initially bored since academic work came easy to him. During his finals he famously believed he was viewed as a lazy and difficult student and tried to convince his examiners to give him the better degree so they can get rid of him since he then could go on studying cosmology at Cambridge, which he did in the end. It was at Cambridge where he was diagnosed with motor neuron disease, nowadays more commonly known as ALS. Remember the ice bucket challenge? That's the one. He couldn't do it himself, so his children did it for him. Despite doctors telling him he had only two more years to live, he continued his work and laid the groundwork for a lot of modern research in quantum physics, astrophysics and cosmology. You may already have heard of his work surrounding black holes and gravity. I'm not even trying to describe all of that, you should go out there and read up on it yourself. The amount of scientific work he did is mind-boggling. Hawking also was an advocate for humanity to go to space. And this sort of closes the circle to why I'm talking about this. He believed that life on Earth was at risk either due to nuclear war, global warming or other potential planet-wide catastrophes. But if the human race were to go into space and colonize the solar system or other systems, life could go on, even if the Earth became inhabitable, which it will definitely become once the Sun becomes a red giant in a few billion years. So yeah, he is kind of an inspiration for my massive colony ship mission I did a few weeks back. The death of Stephen Hawking is a sad day for science, but we should not mourn for long. Let's rather celebrate his life by continuing the work he did. I'm pretty sure we're just getting started to uncover the secrets of our universe. So please stay curious, please keep an open eye, and as always, thanks for watching. Goodbye.